One, two, three, five, five. Hey, my name is David, and I helped countless people all over the world safely unlock their Fry and False Court screams. In this video, I want to discuss the most common mistakes I see people run into when learning to Fry scream. Common mistake number one, just doing a high False Court scream. I can't tell you how many times the students come to me and said, hey, David, check out my Fry scream, and then they proceed to do a high False Court scream instead. And this is because a lot of people think that high screams are fry screams and low screams are false chord screams, but that's actually not the case. You can learn to truly do a fry scream by understanding the anatomical differences between the two screams. False chord screams happen when your vocal cords are open, and fry screams happen when your vocal cords are closed. And as a result, they have very different sounds. So here's an example of a high fry scream and a high false chord scream. Ow! Ow! These two are completely opposite actions. Common mistake number two, whisper screams. Next is what I call whisper screams or airy screams. The I whisper scream. This often happens because people are using too much air and not closing their vocal cords enough. Oftentimes this happens because people are trying to make the volume of their scream louder. So they think, oh, I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of air. But in the end, it actually ruins the resonance of the sound and ironically makes it quieter. The way to fix this is to make sure that your vocal cords close a lot more than they currently are during your attempts to fry scream. Common mistake number three, vocal fry. Uh, people think that this is fry screaming. So a lot of people think that vocal fry is the same thing as fry distortion, aka fry screaming. They're like related cousins, but they are not the same thing. Vocal fry happens when your vocal cords are closed together, but acting like this. Uh, fry distortion happens when your vocal cords are closed, but with more tension and more air pressure, and they're acting like this. Uh, so common fry scream mistake number four, a head voice fry scream. So to explain this, you first need to understand that you have two vocal registers, your head voice, which is above your voice crack, and your chest voice, which is below your voice crack. Uh, uh, a lot of people try and make their fry distortion happen in their upper register, aka their head voice. But the problem is, if you're creating fry distortion in your head voice, it's nowhere near as strong and stable as if you were to create it in your chest voice, aka your talking register. So you want to make sure that your fry distortion is happening in your lower talking register. Common fry mistake number five, a robot fry. A lot of people squeeze their vocal cords together, but not quite tight enough. As a result, it ends up with this sound. If this sounds like you, you need to work on tightening it up in order to get your fry distortion. If you want to go even deeper and unlock your scream in the quickest way possible, I made an in-depth free screaming training that you can check out by clicking the link below. This same information has helped people all over the world unlock their scream. So click the link below and I'll see you inside. Peace.